Welcome to a new and controversial video. Bukayo Saka's injury during England's loss to Greece at Wembley has raised a lot of questions about the future of both Arsenal and England. Will Saka be out for a long time? And how will this injury affect Arsenal's Premier League run? Stay tuned for all the dramatic details. On Thursday, England suffered an unexpected 2-1 defeat to Greece in a friendly match at Wembley. But the biggest blow wasn't the result it was the injury to England and Arsenal star, Bukayo Saka. In the 51st minute, right after Greece's first goal by Vangelis Pavlidis, Saka sat down on the turf, clearly holding his right leg. A worrying sign. The injury comes at a critical time for both the England squad and Arsenal. England was already missing Harry Kane and Jack Grealish due to injury, and now Saka has been added to the list. This could seriously affect England's plans moving forward. Carsley said in his statement, He's being assessed now. It's clear he felt something in his leg during the build-up to Greece's first goal. But the bigger threat isn't just for England, it's for Arsenal, a team already struggling with multiple injuries. Arsenal's captain, Martin Odegaard, is also out due to an ankle injury he sustained while playing for Norway in September. Can Arsenal keep up the competition for trophies without some of their key players? Now, the big concern is how serious Saka's injury is and how long he might be sidelined. Arsenal will face Bournemouth on October 19 in the Premier League. And missing Saka could be a huge setback for Mikel Arteta's ambitions moving forward. In the end, fans are anxiously awaiting any update on Saka's condition and whether he will be fit for the Bournemouth match or if his absence will be prolonged. Share your thoughts and predictions in the comment show do you think Saka's injury will impact Arsenal and England? Don't forget to like and subscribe for all the latest sports news.